Israel has finally admitted that it is pumping seawater into Hamas tunnels, a move that the U.S. has warned could endanger the hostages as the Israeli forces try to dismantle the militant group's underground network in Gaza. After more than a month of declining to comment on reports that the Israel Defense Forces was flooding Hamas tunnels using water from the Mediterranean Sea, Israeli officials have now acknowledged that they are using the tactic. In a statement, the Israeli military says the IDF has implemented new capabilities during the war with the aim of neutralizing underground terrorist infrastructure, including by channeling large volumes of water into them. Further adding that this is a significant tool in combating the threat of Hamas's underground infrastructure, although the IDF has clarified that all tunnels are not being flooded, as the process of attaching pipes and pumps to the shafts are not suited to all the tunnels and could severely damage some areas. On the other hand, in a bid to achieve truce between Israel and Hamas militants, Hamas militant group's political leader Ismail Haniyeh has confirmed that it is studying a new proposal to pause the fighting in the Gaza Strip. Haniyeh said the group had been invited to discuss a framework set out by Israel, the US, Qatar and Egypt. The proposal comes as one of the most serious peace initiatives in the months-long Israel-Hamas war. Reports say the new proposal aims at a six-week truce where more Israeli hostages will be exchanged for Palestinian prisoners. The Hamas leader stressed that the group's priorities were a permanent ceasefire and full Israeli withdrawal, but Israel's prime minister ruled them out. Benjamin Netanyahu insists the war would not end until the elimination of Hamas and the release of all Israeli hostages. Israel says 136 hostages are still being held and about 24 of them are presumed dead. On Sunday, Qatar's prime minister, along with top intelligence officials from U.S. and Egypt, held talks in Paris. The heads of in Israeli intelligence and security agencies also attended the meeting. The reports say they agreed on the terms of a framework for a second pause in the fighting. Such a pause may see Hamas releasing any remaining elderly, women and child hostages in exchange for Palestinian prisoners. During an initial period of six weeks, if successful, there could be another two pauses or phases of swaps with male Israeli soldiers being eventually released. The Israeli Prime Minister's official handle said and called the talks constructive but noted that there were significant gaps with the parties or that the parties will continue to discuss. I hear talks of all sorts of deals, so I want to make it clear. We will not end this war without achieving all of our goals. This means the elimination of Hamas, the return of all our abductees, and the promise that Gaza will no longer pose a threat to Israel. We will not pull out the IDF from Gaza Strip, and we will not release thousands of terrorists. UK's Foreign Secretary David Cameron who is on a fresh tour of the West Asia to quell the war, says that the country is considering a push to recognize a Palestinian state at the United Nations. The move can bring about irreversible progress to a two-state solution. The diplomatic advances comes hours after Israeli commandos disguised as medical workers and Muslim women stormed into a hospital in the West Bank in an undercover raid. The Israeli forces killed three Palestinian militants, including a paralyzed fighter who was shot dead on the bed where he was being treated. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.